Der kleine Papa der Kaplan klebt poppige, peppige Papplakate an die Klammer der Kapellwand. I could probably do it in an American accent pretty easily. Yeah. Fischer's Fritz Fritz. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Yellow lorry, red lorry, li I um, want to say yellow lorry. The whiskey mixer mixed whiskey in the vic- <laughs> <laughs> The whiskey mixer is not mixing something, but he's masturbating. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm with Josh again. Hey guys. And um, this country is in a crisis right now. It's weighing on me for sure, so we thought that we could do something lighthearted today, some distraction. So we're gonna try some German and English tongue twisters. Zungenbrecher auf yeah. Deutsch. Tongue breakers is yeah. what we call them in German. So um, I looked up some German tongue twisters for Josh, and he looked up some English ones for me. And I did not practice them, so it's probably gonna be terrible. But I'm also gonna put them um, on screen so that you guys can try them together with us. I mean, the German ones are probably gonna be tricky <laughs> for most of you. The English ones will be difficult for the Germans though, watching. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so the first one that I found for Faley is. <laughs> for Faley? Yeah. <laughs> is Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? That's so long. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and read it. You don't it. have to do Okay, let's, let's see. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pick pickled peppers, Where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I That's could never bad. remember that. Yeah, okay. most people would just say Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. That's the one that most people <laughs> a little know. Bit. The other three lines of it are okay. in common. Okay, I'll try again. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? It's obviously easier when you read it. Yeah. But that's the best I could do. I think that, was that wasn't too difficult because it's just about peace. No, yeah, that one was, it's, it will start easy. <laughs> okay, can I give you one yeah. in German? Okay, I'll say it in German first. All Germans obviously know this one. Fischers Fritz fished frische Fische. Frische Fische fished Fischers Fritz. Oh gosh, I know this one, but it's been a while since I've done it. Fischer's Fritz fished frische Fische. Frische Fische fished Fischer's Fritz. That's okay, hard. one more time. Fischer's Fritze. Ugh. Fischer's Fritz fished frische Fische. Frische Fische fished frische. Fischer's Fritz. So close. Oh, that's really hard. Yeah, by the way, we're drinking Corona yeah, again. Again. You guys loved us for doing this last Cheers. time, so we're just doing it again. Fischer's Fritz fished frische Fische. Frische Fische fischt Fr so Fischer's Fritz. <laughs> okay, but that was a good one. That's the last thing I've ever That's very good. Um, this one's really tricky though, like even though this is a classic, but for a non-native yeah. speaker, because it's about the German R yeah. the whole time. Okay, wanna I could probably do it in an American accent pretty easily. Yeah, F Fischer's Fritz fished frische Fische. <laughs> Fisher's Fritz Fritz. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Fisher's Fritz. Oh, it's not even that easy in, with an American mm. accent. Okay, you give me another one. Okay. I want to be challenged. I know I'm going to fail. Let's see. Well, okay. This is the next step up just because it's not just all about peas and it's a okay. short one. I learned it as Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Can you say that? Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah. That's Sally, good. Sells she Sally sells seashells. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Yes, yeah. if I concentrate, I can do it. I'm trying to think three times fast. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. That was good. I've, that's the one that everyone <laughs> knows though, so. I think it's your turn, or do you want another one? Another English Yeah, one? give me another one. Um, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. That's good. <laughs> there you go. What about edit, edit, edit? What? <laughs> Does I that actually saw this on another YouTuber's um, Spanish channel. Her name okay. is Super Holly. Um, but yeah, edit, edit, edit. Ed had edited it. Edit, 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 edit. Oh my god. And that one, that one, that one. edited it. Yeah. Ed had edited it. Ed had edited it. That's like um, Rabba Baba. Yeah. You know? uh -huh. yeah. It's like so, all. But the thing is, that only works with an American accent. Because it edit, 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 edit. Because our D's are D's. Ed had edited it. Was that it? Yeah, but. Most ed, people, ed, 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 ed. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> I I probably wouldn't pronounce that H as strongly though. I would oh. just say edit edit edit. Edit edit edit. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh 
gosh. That's not hard, it's just funny. <laughs> that's just, um... So those are I don't want to ones. say anything wrong on, on YouTube, but that's a brain fart. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I think, the second most popular one yeah. in Germany. I've seen this one and before. it's really tricky. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. That was really good. Try that again. Was slow. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. Okay, hold on, I want to try. Yeah. Um, Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. Okay, that was really good. I usually mess this one up uh -huh. all the time. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. <laughs> it's like your tongue's getting heavy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, I have, I have a good next one for you. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Do you want to do it or should I do no. it first? <laughs> der Whisky Mixer mixed Whisky in der Whisky Mixer Bar. But you have to pronounce Whisky the German oh, way. God. That was my get around when I've done this one in the past was I just would say Whisky instead of Whisky. Yeah. Der Whisky, mi <laughs> der Whisky Mixer mixed Whisky in der Whisky Mixer Bar. You're concentrating too much. We gotta drink more. <laughs> I'll try to say it faster. The whiskey mixer mixed whiskey and the the whiskey mix the whiskey whis the whiskey mixer mixed whiskey and the whiskey. Everyone's waiting uh, for you to do it. <laughs> it don't come. The whiskey mixer mixed whiskey and the whiskey. <laughs> so close. Uh -huh. So close. Hold on. Let me try. The whiskey mixer mixed whiskey and the whiskey mixer bar. Okay. It's like, I didn't practice anything today, but I guess I have a good tongue twister today. Do, you want, do we explain to the Americans why that one's funny? Um, you, you explain that, please, because I don't know if oh, I can gosh. explain that properly. Um, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you say it wrong, yeah, like so the whole thing is that it, you're going to mix up the M's and the W's, and then you're going to say that the whiskey mixer is not mixing something, but he's masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> Vixen. Yeah. Yep. That's the whole joke. The whiskey mixer it. mixed whiskey and the vic vic <laughs> See, I just did it. I want to say Vixen. Yeah, but you didn't fully say it though. Because <laughs> I catch myself. Oh, okay. Gosh. All right, give me one. I know there is one that I will have a yeah. lot of trouble with. Let me find a good one. Like, like do one with uh, R's and L's. That's the <laughs> hardest for a non. How like, about? Like for a German. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red. It ends on red? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red, yellow... <laughs> red, yellow. Okay. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red. I can only do There's it There's another on the one. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Lorry? Yeah. It's the British word for truck. Like okay. a semi-truck in, I think in the UK is lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red... Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, le <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, le le I can't. Yeah, I, I, I want to say lelo lorry. <laughs> lelo lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry. It's hard going from it's the really lorry hard. to the yeah. Yep. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry. That's hard. Honestly, I think anyone who tries to say this sounds really drunk. Because <laughs> your tongue's just. And this stumbling. is the first beer, so. Yeah, we're not drunk. I, I struggle with this one. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. That, that's Irish, the whole thing? Yeah. Irish wristwatch. Oh. Irish... No. <laughs> that was a beginner's luck. Irish... Irish... <laughs> <laughs> Irish wristwatch. Irish wrist... <laughs> no. <laughs> Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. It's really it's tricky. Hard. Irish wrist... Irish wrist watch. Irish no. Irish wrist watch. Irish. It's it's easy slowly, but mm -hmm. Irish wrist watch. Going from the shirt to the r Irish Ra. wrist watch. No, that's that's really tricky. But as I said before in a video, for me as a German, the hard parts are always the sounds that are in the back of your throat in English. Like all the L's what? and the R's for me are tricky. Like for example, even just the word. Oh, like, like the soft L. You mean like tool? Yeah. That O yeah. sound. Okay. Rural. Yeah, I can't. I still can't say that word to this day. I've used it a few times in my videos, and I don't think I ever got it right. I had a high, I had a high school teacher from the south, and we always used to make fun of her when she pronounced it. She's from North Carolina, and she just they rural. Say rural, rural, rural. Oh, yeah, rural. That's that's easier. Rural. <laughs> Maybe I should rural. just adapt that accent. How do you say it? Rural. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like that thing that went viral like two years ago with Laurel and Candy. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> That's what it just sounded like. Do I okay. get a German one now? Yes. Uh oh. Zehn Samen Ziegen zogen zehn Centner Zucker zum Zoo. Okay, I know. It's not that hard to say. I know a similar one in German. Am zehnten zehnten zogen zehn 
Am 10.10. .10. zogen 10 Ziegen nach Zillertal. Ja, yeah, pretty similar. Aha. 10 same Ziegen zogen 10 Zentner. What's it? Zentner? Um, it's um, something for. Um, what's the word? How much something weighs. Oh, it's like a, it's a measurement of weight? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 10 same Ziegen zogen 10 Zentner. It's because I don't know that word. Zentner. Zentner. Zentner, yeah. Zentner, Zentner. 10 same Ziegen zogen 10 Zentner zum. Okay. Zucker? Zucker zum. Okay. Zentner Zucker zum Zoo. Zehn same Ziegen zogen zehn Zentner Zucker zum Zoo. Okay. Good job. You're too good at this. You're too good at the Okay, okay. Um, well, the, the yellow thing, I'll never get that right. Red leather, yellow. I, I'm probably gonna practice that for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Me too. Wait, can I give you my favorite mm -hmm. one? Okay. Um, I mean, you'll need to read it because. It's, it's really hard to remember. Uh -huh. um, but most Germans, I don't think, even know this one. I just saw it in um, like a comedy show on YouTube once, and then I practiced it for like a full day. Okay. Um, and it, it's. Hold on. I hope that I can say it correctly now, but. Der kleine Papa, der Kaplank, die poppige, peppige Papplakate an die klappende Kapellwand. Okay, let's okay. see if I can do it. I'm gonna read it slow first. Mm -hmm. Der kleine, plappernde Kaplan klebt poppig. What's poppig? Um, it's just like it pops. It's like full of color. Mm -hmm. Der kleine Pap, uh, der kleine plappende Kap, <laughs> der kleine Pla. <laughs> That one is true. No. Der kleine said, plappende Kaplan klebt poppiger, peppiger, uh, peppige, poppiger, peppige Pappelkarte. Pap Plakate. Pap, uh, Pap -Plakate. There's three yeah, Pap Plakate. P's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pap Plakate. <laughs> An die klappernde Klappelwand. Kapellwand. Uh, Kapellwand. Like a chapel. Yeah, uh -huh. Guys, this is the beauty of the German language. Oh, If gosh. you look at the spelling, there's three P's right behind each other in one word. <laughs> Der kleine plappernde Kaplan klebt poppige, peppige... <laughs> I, I give up. Thank Guys, I, I practiced this for a whole day, <sighs> so it's just fair that you cannot say it. I would have been insulted if you could have done it. <laughs> I want to do it one more time though, just to shine. Do it. Der kleine plappende Kaplankli, poppige, peppige Papplakate an die klappende Kapellwand. I love doing this. Unfair. Peter Piper picked a pack of pick. Peter Piper picked a pick. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> A pack, of a pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Ha! There you go. <laughs> right? Good job. <laughs> hey guys, we're in a different location as you can see because we actually did a few more tongue twisters and we also tried to translate all the German ones into English which was almost as hard as actually saying them. And so I took all of that material and made it into a part two that I'll release on my channel here on Wednesday. So make sure to check that one out as well, set an alarm for it, or best is probably to just activate that little bell next to the subscribe button because that way you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Well, we hope that you guys enjoyed getting to watch us screw up some of those tongue twisters, if not all of them. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, or if you didn't, that's fine by us. I guess. And leave some comments down below so we can know what you guys thought about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my Instagram and Patreon page if you want, and I guess we'll see you on Wednesday in the part two video. Cheers. Cheers.